a lighthouse. And now for the further adventures of Super Spandex. Where are we? Say Walt! No, say Walt! Say Walt Disney! Don't say Walt Disney! Walt! No, don't say Walt! That's who we am! Oh, I hurt your ears? Okay. Kendall, you just watched the best episode of Lost. What are you gonna do now? Oh, say, say, I'm. Kendall, say Walt! Walt! Walt Disney! Walt Disney! Kendall, you just watched the best episode of Lost. What are you gonna do now? place called Disneyland and I, I had a burning question that I think Jed could help us all out with. Jed, why were you so hard on the great American actress known as Katie Seagal? I mean, I really think you owe her an apology. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. It's dark now. Hey Bella, you just watched the best episode of Lost Ever. What are you going to do now? You've just enjoyed the adventures of Super Spandex. Was it that hard on Katie Seagal? No close up. No close up. <laughs>
Fuzzy hair, shaved head. That's the jack I like. Not this waxed chest. More hair. Hair grown out crap. So he was he was confused about his appendix scar. Mom, when did I have my appendix taken out? You were seven or eight maybe. You collapsed at school. Your father wanted to do the procedure himself, but they wouldn't let him. You don't remember that? Yeah, I, I guess I do. He was. He did not remember having his appendix removed. But it happened when he was younger. Yes. Very odd. So what was the black and white thing? Did you see a black and white thing? Well, he called it out. <laughs> we thought that stretching, <laughs> it might be the white towel and his black jeans. It's, he not, had a... <laughs> it's not a stretch at all. There was a mirror. That's all, that's all you need to know. Mirror. Yeah. And a new wound. Maybe it's just Jack and wounds with the mirror. That's true. It doesn't no, have to be black and white. Not a new wound, at least, but not sure about no. when he got that wound. A confusion of wounds. I liked when they did the little sideways flash back to the island and you saw Jack looking into the water and his image was all distorted. Oh, I don't, I didn't catch that. You didn't? You catch all those mirror images. This, so the, this was Jack Bender directing and Carlton Cuse and Dan Lindelof wrote it, but that's a Bender moment, I guess, if there ever was one, to stop the whole thing and have Jack just looking into the water as it rains and Dogen oh. came and crouched next to him. Yes, now I know. Yeah. Pretty sweet image, though. I liked that. Yeah. And, and uh, Jacob's hanging out at the water, checking out what happened to his nice little hot tub. Hey man, you know there's like a kitchen in this place? It's all the way down the hallway, Hugo. It's all dark and gross. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Saeed asks him where the cafeteria is. <laughs> he does? Didn't he say something like that? <laughs> something about food. That was miles, like... LAX? What are you talking about? Cafeteria what? What did he say? Who, Jacob? Hurley. To who? To Jacob. Oh, I didn't even write it down. I don't know. Where are your notes? The important thing that he said was... Someone is coming to the island. I need you to help them find it. Who is coming to the island? I don't know. I don't know either. Who do we think? It's... We said Aaron or Ugh. who else did we? Jack's say? son David. Yeah. I thought Walt. It's not gonna be Walt. Walt's coming to the island finally. I don't know. This episode threw me off. David is reading Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. This kid is phenomenal. He plays Chopin and Mozart. He's reading Alice in Wonderland. Holy crap! Matt's gonna go crazy with this episode. He's now got his own character in the show. To identify That's with. That's true. That's true. I'm gonna kill him. I mean, that shows right there. Damon and Carlton. They listen to Keys to Lost. They're like, we gotta get a musician in here. We gotta have Jack's kid be a pianist, like these awesome podcasters. That's pretty cool. It's a shout out. He wasn't that annoying either. I kind of expected David to be a bad actor, annoying, and he turned out okay. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, David. Why? We see each other like once a month. Can't we just? Get through it. He was pretty good. The ending wasn't too good, but he was, he's okay. So critical. Look, if you have any idea on how to get Chad to go on your little adventure, I'm listening, dude. You have what it takes. You have what it takes? What is that? What did you just say? He said, you have what it takes. He said, you know what that meant. Don't you think that would be something that would get Jack? I don't even understand. Going. What does it mean? I guess I missed the point of you have what it takes. Why they get Jack so revved? Well, we learned later in the episode that his dad always says he said he didn't have what it takes. I wow. I nothing that. What did you just say? Remember when your dad used to say you don't have what it takes? I'm saying you do. Where is that Jacob? If you want to talk to him, he's where we're going, dude. Well, then let's go see Jacob. How dare he say that? 
I don't know. <laughs> That's your response? Well, isn't he just trying to get Jack motivated? I mean, and isn't that what you wanted? You want Jack to be the hero and take yeah, charge? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I don't, and... I don't understand the statement. You have what it takes. I have no idea what that reference I don't remember. I, 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 I don't know. Whatever. If it would have been a direct quote from Christian, sure. But the, to have him say, you have what it takes, that's not even what Christian said. So he should have said, you don't have what it takes? Yeah. Some, it may be something that was a direct quote from Christian. This was did, someone did Christian believing in him versus... When the hell did Christian ever f- You never actually heard it. Correct. So, that, so at the end, when Jack's talking to David... He said that I didn't have what it takes. Yes. What did you think of seeing the lighthouse? It was, it was more, well, it was the same reaction that Jack had. Why didn't we know this was here before? <laughs> I don't understand. How is it that we've never seen it before? I guess we weren't looking for it. Haven't was, they been all over this island? Yeah, that, that was good because that was my first reaction too. Yeah. You want to talk about Claire a little bit? Yeah, Claire's a little nuts though. Claire's freaking me out, man. Her hair is driving me nuts. Yeah, that, that's really stupid. Why is the wig department the worst ever on this show? It's just, it's horrendous. I, I don't even understand. But how about, holy crap, axe to the chest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to turn away for that part. That was, that was filthy. Yeah. And then they just leave him sitting there. A warning to Jin. I guess. Claire's serious. That's she right. went all Jack Torrance on him, like in The Shining. Here's Johnny. Where uh, where the the guy comes running up and he's. <laughs> sticks the axe in his chest. That was disgusting. Yeah. I think I missed a whole page in notes. I got a complaint. Massive lame-o Kate scene. <laughs> Holy <Yeah>. crap. <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> it's me. I almost shot you. <laughs> I noticed. What a grind this episode to a screeching halt moment. It was just more of the, oh, maybe I like Jack now. I hope you find what you're looking for. I, you know, I'm usually the, the Evangeline Lily defender. That was terrible. I'm not going back to the temple. Ah. They find Shannon's inhaler. <laughs> yeah. Is that too doing it just for the fans type deal? The cat has gone insane. <laughs> it's quite funny. I don't think it's too much. No? No. I, I mean, I jumped went, oh, Shannon's inhaler, yay. But I'm a dork. Adam and Eve. Saw him again. Adam and Eve, yes. Hurley actually made reference to him saying, What if these skeletons are us? So that, I think, officially is definitely not going to happen now. I mean, isn't that the sense well, you get? Well, yeah. That right. was just the creators addressing what everyone thinks. And saying, no, that's yeah. not what happened. Something else is going to happen, yeah. Do you think we'll see them again? Adam and Eve? And explain who they are? Yes. Dogen in the flash sideways. Yes. They are too young to have this kind of pressure, aren't they? Crazy. I didn't expect that. Everyone's off the island running around. Apparently. Which I guess if the island's underwater. <laughs> yeah. You might as well leave and birth a child that knows how to play piano really well. Yes. Yes. Is that a bad assumption that they're all playing piano? Well, one did carry in a violin or something. Oh. I think. Maybe it's... At the beginning. Maybe it's Dogen Ma and his son's Yo-Yo. <laughs> So I'd say everything in this episode was pretty okay. The lighthouse stuff was really cool. Whoa. Dude, this is cool. I really liked what they got up there and Hurley's pulling the chain and the wheels are cranking and every degree has a name and that's how Jacob got his numbers for the names. So oh, that was cool. So we have an explanation for the numbers now. More of an explanation yes, than last week. Yes, a much week. stronger explanation. And they're not as rando. Right. I like that a lot. Yes, that was good. So what was the uh, first reflection we saw? Was it the house? No, we saw something else. 
Well, there was also a church or it, something. It was a church then like. first. Well, I thought he first saw what... I thought he had first seen his house, but they went by it so fast. Maybe, but the you, there was a church there. was there. a church, and then he stopped it and made it go back. So there's a third thing? I gotta find this other thing? No, I, I'm thinking that it was the house twice. I don't know, though. It's too fast. But the mirror showed his other life where he grew up. Yes. That was cool. Yes. Huh. Yeah. And then Jack promptly broke the freaking mirrors. Yes, that was very disappointing. No! <laughs> I wanted to see more. Yeah, I definitely wanted to see more. It was disappointing. It's ah, we're learning stuff, you jerk. I mean, he's so overreacting. It's I know. Uh, yeah, because I mean, he really got angry at Hurley and looked like he was maybe gonna hit him with the telescope. And I thought that's a little far. Oh, you knew he was gonna break those freaking mirrors. <laughs> I did like Jacob's summation kind of at the end. One guy, you can turn, get in a cab and say, you got to go to the island. The other guy, you got to kind of work, you know, let him realize it himself. I did, but I didn't because it kind of made me feel like that was a knock on Hurley. It was a, to a little bit. Like, but oh, I can tell you whatever I want. You'll do it. But mm -hmm. Jack, he doesn't do whatever you say. Jin is lying his off. He is. <laughs> I was lying. Why? But because I wanted to save his life. I couldn't remember if he knew that Kate took Aaron or not. Well, he I mean, when he, when he blurted it out. Well, I, yeah. Well, he knew that Kate had Aaron on the boat, and when she got on the helicopter and ditched him and left him to blow up. Oh, true. He did say that he, he's been... She's been raising him for the past three years. Right, right. Yeah. But then he spun it because he realized Claire was a uh, psycho. Go. kill Kate. Yeah. Which, if I were Jen, I wouldn't care about him sending Claire out to kill Kate since she left him in the woods. That just... would just get her away from me. <laughs> yes, Kate is that way. She's right she there. pretty much let him out there and then said... I heard she was talking smack about Aaron, said he's ya. got ugly head and bad hair. <laughs> Why is he going to lead her to the temple? Uh, to get away from her? Or, or maybe they'll kill her there and he knows he felt more safe. He's like, holy crap. She's nuts, so I got to get out of this jungle. Right. But True. then Locke comes a walking in. Yes, her friend. John? That's not John. This is my friend. I gotta admit, I think, you know, last episode, I wasn't really frightened of Locke, but seeing her, you know, embed that axe in the guy's chest, and just seeing how creepy and dead to everything she is, I got scared of Locke walking in then all of a sudden. And yeah. I, I, I am scared of both of them. Yeah. Yeah. And the idea that Sawyer's out there, and now Sawyer's with Locke. Well, I don't know where Sawyer is. Where is Sawyer? Is he still in the cave? I don't know. Yeah, he didn't get out. He's left there. <laughs> well, yeah, because Locke just flew out. Right. <laughs> he threw the rope down. We'll see it next episode. I want to say, I, I guess, I mean, the, the shot of Jack's face and the reflection of the water was really cool. And the flash sideways was interesting quite a bit. But overall, I mean, I wasn't that stunned with this episode like I was last week. No, I would agree with that. But I mean, it's still really good. And the lighthouse elements were very, very interesting. Yes, that and was the And seeing Dogen part. in the flash sideways was interesting, too. Lighthouse, what do you think? What are you going to give it? B. Flat B? Flat B. It's okay. I'm going to go B+. Plus <laughs> because I did have that... <gasps> gasp moment when they saw the lighthouse. I thought that was really cool. I really liked it when I saw the, the degrees when they were turning it and all, all the, the names. names. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, and an ax got embedded in some guy's chest. So this has got to be better than what Kate does. Violence does not influence my grades 
<laughs> she doesn't like watching violence. She just no. likes inducing violence. Hey. Ow. I'm slapping.